When you're diagnosed with cancer, everyone expects after your cancer, you just jump right back into life and you move on with your life. But it's not that easy. Quite often, the aftermath of cancer and the effects of cancer are more brutal than the fight itself. Athletes for Cancer is an organization that empowers cancer survivors to get their lives back through outdoor adventure. We use events such as Kiteboarding for Cancer to raise money for our survivorship program. Kiteboarding for Cancer came about after my brother passed away from leukemia in 2007. And in an effort to deal with the grief and to put my energy towards something positive, we decided to do a fundraiser that entailed kiteboarding and what I know and love. is three miles long. Athletes race for six hours and overall they'll log 100 to 110 miles over the course of those six hours. Athletes fundraise in advance of the six hour endurance race. They go and they'll get pledges per lap from their employer, from businesses, corporations, and that is our primary source of fundraising for the event. The idea behind Kiteboarding for Cancer is to challenge the participants to do something they may have never done before and to challenge themselves to a point of exhaustion mentally and physically, which embodies what someone going through cancer faces every day. At Kite Boarding for Cancer, we have a lot going on on the beach, not just on the water. We have a silent auction and a live auction. We have a project called Boards of Hope where artists transform some kind of board, be it a surfboard, skateboard, kiteboard, into a piece of art that represents the theme of hope and healing. Even though the excitement is really happening on the water, what we find is the webcast gets to feature a lot of things that happen off the water. We interview survivors, we interview supporters, we interview businesses and corporations that have sponsored the event. Kiteboarding for Cancer is not just a Northwest event or a national event, it is now a global event.